This tutorial will walk you through getting organized with Gmail. Uh, first thing we're going to do is going to look at themes to make it a bit more friendly and personal. So as you can see there's a lot of different ones you can choose from. A bit more industrial, animals, uh, all sorts here. I think I'm going to go with I think I'll go with this. Should I go with the industrial? I think I'll go with this one. It looks looks a bit more interesting. As you can see, it's just changed it. It's a bit grey, but uh, that's it. That looks a bit better. As you can see, it looks a bit more inviting and friendly. Now, email is set up into multiple sections on this. You've got your primary email here. Uh, social which is like your YouTube and bits and pieces like that uh, promotions is basically junk <laughs> uh, so it's people pushing whatever items they've got um, and then you've got the forums I don't actually have any forums set up on here but if you don't want them in four different sections you can actually just unclick them like that and then save and go back to your primary and everything goes in your primary then instead of being split into subsections myself I like to keep the junk well the YouTube stuff um, separate so we where did we go so now you remove them you might actually want some back like the YouTube stuff I have a lot of YouTube stuff so Ideally, I just want to configure my inbox and I'll keep the social ones and I'll keep the promotion ones because it keeps stuff separate. I haven't had the updates. I'm going to put updates on forums. Like I said, I don't have any forums. So let's just set that back up like that. And it should separate them out for me. There you go. Updates. There we go. We've got some updates to do. And it's pretty straightforward. Now we've gone through what the different group headers are. Uh, updates, like I said, it's uh, things you got like software updates, like here there's an install to do with a soft, uh, website and things. Um, but you can also get spam. Now let's find our spam. Junk. It's down here is junk online. Um, as you can see, it's empty because I don't have any junk. So most of you, you shouldn't really get any junk in here, but there's a separate junk folder down here on the left. Some handy tips of staying organized as well. You probably notice I've got these little stars here. The, the stars basically create, they go on the star. See, I've got a star menu. You can see what's starred. Um, in the same way, if I go important, there's a long list of important stuff. This one is an important one. So like this kind of that's actually junk mail, so that shouldn't even be in there. But when you let's go back to our inbox. So like here, it it is important, and it do I need to be stored? I don't know. But they don't need to be in my inbox. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. So I can actually just turn around and archive those. So I right click archive. So my inbox has only got one email in theory. Um, now archive doesn't mean they've disappeared. If I go to starred, they're still here. And if I go to important, they're still on the important list. It just means that my inbox isn't cluttered. Because what I generally do is, like this is an important email I had this morning to deal with. So this would actually remain as important. And now I've responded to it, I can take it off being important and keep it stored because they're waiting on a response from me. Um, I don't really want to archive it because I actually do need this email um, later on, so it will remain in there. Uh, but you can organize yourself. So okay, these are my stored ones. Like here, this one isn't important, so that can go in the archive. Uh, these are a bit out of date. Claire, that's when I went to France. And so basically those, if I just refresh that now, they still exist. 
they are just archived. Uh, but they're not urgent, they're not stuff I need to deal with. Because what I generally do is the starred one is I need to deal with this week. Important is stuff like uh, like I'm doing at the moment. This is car documentation for car insurance. So this one is urgent. It's got to be done this week. Uh, well, I need them filed. I need to keep a track of it. So this one would remain important. But the starred ones like this one... I emailed them this morning, but I've got to send them another email once a package arrives. So that will just stay starred until the package arrives. I send the email, and then I can switch off the starred as well. So that, that's quite, it's quite an easy way of keeping things organized, especially if you're getting lots of email coming in. You can filter them to, like, okay, I need to deal with this week. Okay, I, I need to acknowledge I've got this documentation, but do I need it in my mailbox? No. So you can put it into archive, and it will still show up in your important list.